So I actually met Dr. Phillips the first year, um, the fall quarter, uh, in my PBL. Going into medical school, you really want to have experience with something that seems like a real situation. And I think the instructor helps sort of flesh that out and really make that experience what it is. For two years, I had the real privilege of uh, seeing him hands-on with the patients and one-on-one. -on -one. He really does bring the case to life. So I think if I want to say it in, in a phrase, I think Dr. Phillips to me is uh, where passion meets intellect. I'd just say, you know, thank you for dedicating so much time uh, every quarter to this course. Uh, he's definitely a humongous gift to this community. The passion he has for first the patient, for teaching, for, the, um, for, the medicine, for medicine in general, I think that just um, has showed me how I would like to practice medicine one day. Hello and welcome to the UCSD School of Medicine Spotlight Series. My name is Devesh Vashishta and I am a first year medical student here at the UCSD School of Medicine. With me today is Dr. Paul Phillips. He is an interventional cardiologist and a part-time faculty member at the School of Medicine. Um, thanks for being here, Dr. Phillips. Devesh, thanks for the invitation. It's a privilege. So, could you tell us more about what your current responsibilities are, both within and without the School of Medicine? Sure. Um, for three decades, I've taught cardiology fellows, interventional cardiology and medical residents cardiology. Mm -hmm. But for the last several years, I've transitioned into teaching just medical students, and I facilitate in the problem-based learning uh, course, which I find to be a real pleasure. I try to do it year, year long, whenever they'll take me. And I also welcome uh, first years into my clinic as part of their ambulatory care uh, apprenticeship. Could you tell us more about, so my experience with you is having been in your PBL group during winter quarter this year, which was a fantastic experience. Could you tell me more about what drew you to, to facilitating these PBL groups and what you enjoy about it? Sure, well, thank you. It was a fantastic experience for me too. Um, part of the excitement of the problem-based learning course is that you take a small group of very talented test takers, scientists, and you get as the facilitator to watch them transition step by step into clinicians. The problem-based learning or PBL uh, course is really one of the first opportunities for the uh, first and second year medical students to confront complicated medical cases, to have to sort of tease out from the history the patient's true story, to find their diagnosis. And that process, which is so different from taking tests and successfully completing academic uh, things, is a really interesting transformation that I find fascinating myself. So I teach in the PBL series because I really like that transition. I like watching talented people go from being scientists to clinician humanists. What do you feel makes a good clinician? Um, it's a famous statement about uh, patient care that the secret of the care of the patient is caring for the patient. Um, and I think all great clinicians, all the great clinicians I've known have a commonality in that the very first thing on their agenda is high quality patient care. Nothing gets between them, between their uh, attempt to achieve high quality patient care and a, and a diagnosis and a result. Their personal lives, their families, billing for procedures, none of that ever gets between that, those sorts of clinicians and good patient care. So I think that the secret of being a, great, a, a good clinician is really caring for patients. Do you feel that being a cardiologist has made you feel more inclined to, to be healthy and to exercise? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I am a vegetarian because I ask my patients over and over again to think about being vegetarians. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, being a cardiologist has made me think certain ways and do certain things that I wouldn't otherwise have done. I don't have atherosclerotic problems, but I act as though I do because all day long I talk to people about why they eat need to eat more vegetables and eat less fat and exercise more and I guess it's true that's because I'm a cardiologist that I think that way. So could you tell us more about, could you tell me more about what you think is unique and special about the School of Medicine here? The school really nurtures their, uh, their medical students. There's, they're not thrown harshly into the clinical environments. They start with the PBL type small supportive practice session 
and then step by step they get exposed uh, to more complicated and more stressful circumstances and I've seen firsthand how nurturing the school is to their to their students so I think that's very special I mean they really um, have ownership for the people that they've attracted and recruited and they make sure they get trained properly and safely. Well Dr. Phillips I wanted to say thank you so much for being here with us today um, your presence on the School of Medicine campus uh, is very special for all of us who are learning and all of us who are in the PBL groups. And we're very grateful to have you as a mentor. Thank you. Devesh, it's a privilege and I'm, I'm flattered by your invitation. Thank you.